Hi everyone, welcome you all. In our previous video, we have seen how to read data from JSON file using Jackson library. Now in the today's video, I'm going to show you how can we read data from JSON file using JSON library, which is another popular library which is available in the market. So we can use this library to read data from JSON file. Now let us see how can we do this. So as we already discussed in our previous video, uh, we need to have one JSON file. Here I'm taking employee.json, a sample data, and which is having two fields, first name and last name. And this is address is another field, basically which is a JSON array, which contains a two JSON objects. And every object is having again three fields, street, city, state. Again, this is another field, street, city, state. So this is entire JSON uh, file which is representing one single person, first name, last name, and addresses. Okay. So, as a first step, what we need to do is we need to create a Java class which exactly matching with this JSON file. That means how many attributes are there in this particular JSON file? We need to create those many variables in Java class. For every variable, we have to create one get and set methods so that we can operate the variables. Right. So that's the first step. So in, as I already shown you in the previous video, we have created, uh, if I go back to my previous package JSON file, we have created two classes. Person is a main class. Here I have defined first name and last name, and this is an address field. For every field, we have created getters and setters. And this address is basically having multiple values because which is representing JSON array. We have created a separate class called address.java. And with this type, I have created this variable in person. So this person is a class which is exactly representing uh, the data which is there in the same employee.json. Okay. So this is the first step. So we need to create Java class which is representing JSON data. So now we will see how to read this data by using JSON library. So if you want to use JSON library, which is basically third party library, we have to add dependency, which we have to get it from the MVN repository. Go to MVN repository and search for JSON. It is not a J, actually it is a JSON. And this is the library, you can just click on it and uh, let me get the latest one, 2101. So get the dependency and add this dependency in Pomrad XML of your Maven project. So this is the previous uh, dependency which we have uh, added for uh, Jackson. And this is another library. This is for JSON. So you can just uh, follow only one approach. Okay, if you are using uh, Jackson method to read the data from JSON file, this is not needed. Right, so if you, do, if you want to use JSON approach, if you want to use this JSON library, then Jackson is not needed. Okay, remember that point. So both are not needed. Only one approach you can follow. So for now, only I need only JSON. I don't need this data bind, Jackson data bind. So I can simply comment this. Okay. So now let us try to use this library called JSON. So once you select it and try to update your project once. Go to Maven, then update project. Close update. I say okay. Right, so once you add this library to your project, you will get required classes and methods from the JSON API. So now we'll see how to read JSON data. So we already created person class, which is exactly uh, matching with JSON file data. So now what we need to do is let us create a new class, main class through which we will try to read data from JSON file. So I'm giving some name as reading data from json using json library i'm taking this main method and say finish okay it is very simple so more than uh, this is more simpler than jackson library let me show you the first thing we already have file inside my data folder if i look at here employee.json now we need to get this particular file into a variable so for that, we need to use something called file reader class. And this is from java.io package for java.util package, which we can import reader equal to new file reader. 
And here we have to just specify the location of your file. So my file is in my current project. Dot slash slash is representing your current project workspace. Inside this, uh, my folder name is data. Inside this, my file name is what? Employee.json, right? So we need to get this file into a variable called reader. Now the type of the variable is file reader, which we need to import from java.io. Sorry, it is not, it is from java.io. And now we need to add this exception. So now once you add this particular step, so we already open this JSON file in file reader mode. Okay. So now we need to pass this. Uh, we need to get this, uh, we need to map this with Java object. So how can we map it? We have to create an object of JSON class. So there is a special class called JSON, which will come from JSON library. So JSON, JSON equal to new JSON. So we need to create an object for this JSON class. Import this JSON from com.google.json. And once you have done using this JSON object, we have to call one method called from JSON. And here we need to pass two parameters. One is the file reader, which we have opened here, right? So that we have to pass. The second parameter, we have to map this with your person class. We have already created one Java class called person, right? Which is exactly same structure as JSON. So we need to map it. So to map it, we can simply say second parameter person dot class. So basically this will return a person class object. So that we are going to create an object. The type of this object is what person class type. So once you have an object, we can easily read the data from the person, just like in our previous uh, example. Simply you can read data so we can access the data by using this object, object data, access the data. So simply what we can do is we can print system.out.println. First name is what from the person object. We use one method called get first name, last name. These methods we already created. So just call them. It will print first name. And similarly, we can simply call instead of get first name, we can say get last name. And address is an object, right? So array, which contains a multiple things. So we need to write a looping statement. So I'm writing one for loop. And here I'm writing one enhanced for loop. So I'm taking this uh, person dot get address. So basically the person dot get address will return multiple addresses in the form of list, right? So that I'm going to store in address. In the get address, if I look at your employee.json file, so this is my first address and second address and so on. So when you repeat this in our loop statement, first it will return this one and then it return this one. And uh, from this object, we have to again extract a street city state. And from the second object, again, we have to extract street city state. So when you say here, person dot get address, that will return all the objects from this address. Now the first object we are going to store in this variable, then we will repeat one by one. So from the person dot get address, we have to store them in a variable. Again, I'm creating one variable called address. Now type of the variable is what address type because we already created this address class earlier. So this is address class, which is representing three variables. So once you get an address from this, we can extract street, city, state. So for that, I can write one loop statement here. I can say street and you can say address dot get, sorry street address dot get the street and similarly we can also extract other data so street then uh, city and this is state okay and we need to call a corresponding methods get the street and this is get city and this is get the state get the state okay so this is how we can simply capture the data so these are uh, this loop will get all the addresses from the person so i can write simple statement i can say addresses 
Okay. So once you get a file and uh, map that file to the person class through this method, json.formjson, and that will return person class object. And once you get an object, you can easily capture the data just by calling the method from that object. So this will read the data from the JSON file. So let us try to run this. Okay, now if I look at this, first name, last name, sorry, I have not changed this actually. This is a last name. And then it is also printed all the addresses. So this is the address one and this is the address two. So this is how we can also read data from the JSON file using JSON library. So this is also another popular uh, library which is available. So uh, along with uh, Jackson library. Okay, this is another approach. But for both the approaches, we have to create a Java classes. So in the JSON file, whatever the attributes are there, whatever the JSON array is there, we need to exactly create a similar type of class, which is also having same kind of variables, array, uh, arrays and everything, okay? So that is mandatory. So once we created a classes, then we can read the data using Jackson library or by using JSON library. So this is how we can use JSON library for reading the data from the JSON file. So in the next video, I will show you how to use JSON simple library. It's more simpler than these two. In the Jackson and JSON library, we have to create a separate Java classes, which will representing JSON files. But here in JSON simple, we no need to create any separate classes. We can directly read the data from the JSON file after parsing it. In the next video, I will show you how to do this. That's all for this video. Next video we'll see. Thanks for watching.